Hi Libra, it's Sia Patty here today. I'm going to do a real quick love bite for you for the month of uh, the mid-September to mid-October. Okay, I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. So we're going to put out 10 cards. The first five are going to be for Libra and the second five are going to be for your love, the person that you're interested in. I'm going to also get a clarification card from the uh, Until Today card by Iyanla Van Zandt and I will also be using uh, two Conscious Spirit cards from uh, Kim Dreyer all right, as part of the reading also. Okay, so let's get going. First card for you, Libra, is Romantic Feelings. Okay. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. The next card that you got here was Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so maybe this is someone that you used to uh, go out with or someone who is a friend um, that's coming back and you're having romantic feelings for them. Okay, so worth exploring. Next card that you got was stay optimistic about your love life, Libra. All right. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so when this uh, person comes back into your life, be optimistic. The next card that you got was let go of control issues. Okay, is this something that you've been challenged with, Libra? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so when this person comes back into your life, don't start getting all excited, running out and buying, you know, uh, wedding gowns and um, trying to rent someplace. All right, just let it let it flow. All right, let it go. Enjoy the moments. And wedding. Okay, so this will maybe lead up to a marriage. This situation involves marriage, Libra. Very nice. Okay, so this looks like somebody that you've known before is coming back. Or maybe someone that you had a relationship with before is coming back into your life. Or you're going to reconcile with someone that you've been on the outs with. Um, but it says this. The key is to let go of your control issues and stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, let's see what's going on with the person that you're interested in. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right, they're feeling similar feelings. Uh, excellent. Next card that you're getting is you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, so this person feels that you that he has found the true, a true love and that he deserves to be loved and you deserve to be loved. He finds you lovable. Next card that you get here is keep an open mind. Okay? Your soulmate may differ from you from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so maybe this is maybe why I'm getting the feeling that this is a person that was a friend and this is not your usual type. Maybe you have friend zoned them. All right, but the card that is right over it in your line was stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith. This is about keeping an open mind. Okay, so that person got that in that same position underneath that. So I think that everybody needs to relax and be positive. Next card, love yourself first. Okay, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so this is a message that we got for your friend, the person that you're interested in. Love yourself first. That goes for everybody, okay? You can't be in a good relationship if you don't love yourself first. Your most important romantic relationship is with yourself. Okay, last card, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual growth. This is pretty good, Libra. Getting the feeling that this is something that um, you did have a relationship with this person before and they are coming back. 
the reason that they may have left may have to do with uh, religious factors. This card could also talk about um, race, you know, religion, politics. But it's telling you to let go of your control issues. And ultimately, the wedding card is there. All right, so let's see what the Conscious Spirit Oracle cards have to say about this situation. <laughs> okay, can we get some clarification for Libra for the month of mid-September to the middle of October in regard to their love life going forward? Any clarification, any inspiration, any messages, any guidance, instructions for Libra for mid-September 2017 to mid-October 2017. Okay, what we got here? Third Eye Chakra. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom to my life. Okay, so you have to look at, you have to trust your intuition, pay attention to what's going on around you. Okay, all right. Okay, Spirit, can we get another card for Libra for this October? I'm sorry, mid September to mid October 2017. Oh, Shay. Reach out. Reach out. I reach out my hand and my heart to connect and unite with all of humanity. Reach out. Okay, let's see what the book says about reach out. Okay. We each possess unique gifts that we need to develop and share with the world. Whether you are aware of your gifts or not, by reaching out to others and sharing your experiences, hopes and dreams, as well as your fears, you will begin to understand your specific gifts and their purpose in this world. With modern day technology, it's easy to reach others far across the globe. Do not overlook family and friends in the community you live in. This card is asking you to open your heart and connect to people near and far. Share your talents and knowledge to help those in need. Communicate with like-minded souls and learn from those whose cultures and belief systems are different from yours. Expand your world by expanding your heart. It is time to set aside your differences and connect to others on a soul level in order to spread love, compassion, tolerance, hope, and solidarity between all cultures and races. Only by joining together can you build a brighter future for all concerned. Do not isolate yourself for your love will only truly have meaning when you share it with others. Okay, so I think this goes well with this. It's telling you to be optimistic, to have an open mind, okay? Be ready to share your talent, your truth, okay? Be tolerant of other people's religious backgrounds and upbringings. Don't, that let, don't let that be a barrier to love. All right, so while we're here, let's look at uh, the Third Eye Chakra card. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom to my life. Third Eye Chakra is linked to light, intuition, and self-reflection. Its name is Anja and means to know or perceive. The color associated with it is indigo and it is situated above and between the eyebrows. This card is a reminder to you that we all have the ability to awaken intuitive and psychic powers within us. Guidance from higher realms often comes to you as a gut feeling. Learn ways of developing this intuition. By learning to tune into your intuition, you'll be guided to make the best choices in your life. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Keep a diary of your intuitive feelings and experiences as well as your dreams and you'll discover that the more open you are, the more accurate these feelings will become. Trusting your intuition will also help release you of fear and instill more confidence within you. Remember to honor and encourage this ability in others so they too can become masters of their own lives. 
Okay, excellent. Yeah. All right, so again, this is telling you to trust your intuition, tap into your, intu into your intuition, stay optimistic, let go of your control issues, and be open to someone that doesn't look like you normally, is not your normal type, okay? But you have to keep an open mind, all right, which goes along with what we've just spoken about, reaching out in the third eye chakra. Okay, so that's pretty consistent. All right, and, ooh, oof. so sorry about that, Libra. This is, you know, I just decided to do this real quick. Try to see how many I can get done today. All right, as y'all know, this is not my usual. All right, last card. From the Until Today deck by Ian Van Zandt. Okay, do we have any further messages, guidance for Libra? Okay. Wow. Love is who I am and what I do. That's hot. Mm. Until today, you may have been trying to figure out what love is and how to find it in your life. And just for today, be aware of and accept yourself as an expression and example of the love you're seeking. Okay, so you have to be the love that you seek. Love is who I am and what I do. So you got to be open to love. Be aware and accept yourself as an expression and example of the love that you're seeking okay so let yourself reflect the love that you want okay you may have been trying to figure out what love is and how to find it in your life well it seems to be coming back there seems to be a reconciliation with a true love okay there are romantic feelings because you deserve love Right? You deserve this. Excellent. Okay, Libra. Well, that was a short love bite. Looks like you are headed in the right path with whoever it is that you will be uh, reconciling with in this uh, coming month. So, let me know how this resonates with you, if it does. And uh, see you in October. Bye.